Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski. As you can see, I have a new cutting mat. It's brand new. I have it only for three days. It's, it's bright, it's shiny, it's fresh, unused yet. And today uh, let's talk about this. A propeller and a motor. Propeller and the motor is something that is commonly used to as a propulsion systems for our airplanes and drones. You know, you put the propeller like that, start, apply some voltage, propeller spins and as a result. You have a thrust and something goes somewhere. But in the not not in only the RC world, the propellers, um, the axial fan, because this is the axial fan when the the thrust is generated on the axis, on the one axis, are not the only ways to get some thrust or some get some fluid, uh, because air is a fluid, by the way. It's not liquid, it's a fluid from side A to side B. Why not to use something else like, for example, a centrifugal propeller? A few weeks ago, um, two, maybe three weeks ago, Tom Stanton did a video when he tried to use the impeller, rotating impeller mounting on the motor like this and the Koanda effect to generate some trust and to have a flying drone using the Koanda effect. It kind of failed, but okay, he tried. I decided to go one step, I don't know, further, less further, closer, it's really hard to tell, because I decided to build a 3D printed coaxial Coaxial, no, this is centrifugal impeller fan. Something like a turbo. This is why the video is called the turbo propulsion system for the airplane part one. Because what I want to do, I want to have the a device like this to power my airplane. I know I'm not the only one. Um, two years ago or something like that, some shepherd, too bad he died, uh, some time ago did a video when he built an airplane propelled with the uh, turbo, um, centrifugal impeller fan. He used some components he found somewhere. I decided to do it 100% on my 3D printed and this is why I designed something like this. This is a prototype. This is a prototype. Let me open the prototype and I will show you how the prototype is working. Then I will show you how I measured what the prototype can do and does it even work and then then let's try to <laughs> turn it off and listen how inefficient because so far it is an inefficient right now the printer is printing the much i hope much more efficient device that i will actually use on the airplane because this device um it has some trust but let's say a lot of other problems okay now there will be a small uh, cut i will have this thing open and we're gonna meet in a second this is my centrifugal impeller fan centrifugal it's not axial that means the air comes into because this is only a main 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 fault no this is the intake main fault that because it's supposed to generate trust in this direction go in this direction so this piece of 3d printed pipe is to get the air from and the scoop it into the into the inside of the thing the the air enters like this then is accelerated due to centrifugal forces and the, the pressure difference and leaves the uh, the casing uh, in this direction, thus generating some thrust downward. This is only a casing that holds everything in place and inside we have an impeller. Impeller rotates like this. There is a motor on the side installed over here and the ESC and the regular, regular ESC. The motor is mounted to the, the bottom of the casing, of course. The impeller rotates like this air enters the the fan over here gets into the f between the blades and because there is a speed difference linear speed difference between the uh, entry point and the exit point it also has to increase its velocity thus lower the pressure suck more air into the into the system when it goes over here being compressed against the wall of the of the casing goes further and then exits the 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 fan like this in theory in theory everything is fine it should be working uh, beautifully even the size looks like it's um, pretty nicely um, 
compatible with the size of the motors in theory everything works it turns out that well it doesn't um currently i'm in experimenting with the different uh, impeller shapes and sizes this is the 80 millimeter diameter version of the v2 actually impeller that is slightly better than this v1 which is also 80 uh, 80 millimeters um, but the difference is not that big i just think that the, the sheer volume the area of the blades is just not enough and there's not enough space for the enough the air to be accelerated this is why like i said before the new version is slowly slowly printed i before i will show you how it works um some measurements i did some measurements i do have the anemometer i have the tachometer i have the scale i've put this into the vice so i was able to measure the stress generation by, the, by this it works it kind of works because uh, on this version i was able to get let me get to the numbers let me get to the numbers i was able to get around 136 grams of thrust in this direction thanks to this rotating impeller unfortunately the efficiency the, so now i'm very 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 far behind something like this and the motor like this because with the something like this and the propeller the efficiency for five inch air on the mid-range is around five six grams of thrust per watt consumed um in the seven inch air will go to closer to six and a seven 10 12 inches really should have 7 grams per 1 watt of electricity consumes guess how much i was able to get from this device when it's well let's say mounted like this with the size like this yes 1 point 58 this was the top i was able to get why um because i know i know squat really about the fluid dynamics and how to design those kind of things this is only 3d printed so it has to be pretty thick to hold the rpms because this thing on my test was rotating at 15,000 rpms that's pretty bloody fast for the 3d printed impeller relatively heavy 3d printed impeller and it was really like a shitty scary uh, scary experience to spin it to the full speed but never mind and um, it's, this is clearly not enough in theory with the 136 grams i can already put it on an airplane um i have one wing and the one tail section from from one of my all the designs it should work very little trust it kind of has a lot of pitch uh, entry the, the speed of the aero living is more than 100 kilometers per hour so it should really let's say have a level flight but um 136 probably on the full power and going to 4s uh, 170 but then also the efficiency with the uh, is declining with the the increased speed so uh, i definitely have to design a better version and the, the better version is right now printing so i'm not there yet the next video uh, probably will be about this thing on an aeroplane or at least i will show you the the bigger version of this of this device now uh, let me assemble this uh, again and uh, let's turn this thing off so you can see how much of a noise it's really making this this version was quiet um, because here i fucked up and the air just goes over this small ridge and that, that, never mind let me assemble this thing together and let's turn this thing on okay so i have the turbofan uh, installed let me find my safety glasses because i'm really i would prefer really this this thing not to explode and go straight into my eyes okay safety glasses in place i look ridiculous with two sets of glasses i have to take one off and are you ready let's turn this baby on Ta -da! ready um I will spin it to Okay 
that was loud. Um, I'm really not 100% sure I should be doing this in my apartment. Anyhow, um, so as you can see, it works. It has some output speed. The air was entering the turbo, this side, leaving this side, generating some trust. For now, for now, like I said, the bigger version of this device and hopefully slightly quieter version of this device is just printing on the printer. So I think that's um, all for today until the next one. <laughs> Ciao.